Welcome to Worldwide Business. I'm Kathy Ireland. It's not just the cost of the workplace that impacts the bottom line of a business. Commercial real estate in itself is a major expense. Businesses looking to save costs may want to take a hard look at how they utilize that space. Making that possible is Sarah View. Ian Morley, co-founder and chief evangelist, is here to explain how this innovative workplace management software company is helping businesses to save money on their space. Welcome, Ian. Thank you, Kathy. It's great to be here. Ian, could you please share with us how much companies are overspending on property costs? You know, Kathy, it's millions, millions of dollars. When you consider that property costs are usually the second or third largest expense for most businesses, mm -hmm. straight after labour and technology costs, shaving even a couple of percent off the costs of real estate can add considerable amounts to your bottom line. And how does Sarah View address these concerns? So we've got a range of technologies that help companies really right size mm -hmm. the amount of corporate real estate that they need. Uh, the way we do that is by measuring how many people come into the building on any given day, so their space utilisation, right. and then we provide some modelling tools to help right-size that portfolio based on how much space they actually need. Well, let's get a quick overview of Sarah View's workplace management software in this Worldwide Business Field Report. Saraview partners with utilization technology developers to integrate data from many sources and provide an accurate and real-time picture of space usage. They also partner with other leaders in workplace management, like Condeco, and professional service companies like JLL. JLL works with a number of technologies uh, that provide space data management. Particularly in APAC in Australia, JLL and Saraview have worked together with clients and combined with the technology Saraview has, the best practices that JLL has, we provide clients with one source of truth for their occupancy data. Saraview has done a nice job with the technology, um, with the visualizations, and creating um, technology and, and reporting that takes a bit of the mystery of the occupancy data away. We also work with them to track the utilization of the space. Um, what I mean by that is how many people are occupying the space versus how many seats there are. And sometimes there's a gap of 20 to 50 percent. With that type of information, corporate real estate executives can decide are they in the right location and how much real estate they should really have in their portfolio. Condeco is a leading global provider of office utilization and workspace scheduling solutions. We develop and deliver workplace management solutions to improve the way people work and how organizations operate across the globe. So our goal is to create a space that's optimal for employee productivity, but at the same time make sure you don't have wasted real estate. So there's a benefit to employee and the employer. What makes Sarah View's approach unique is that you don't have to force employees to book desks and rooms before they come to an office. You could stay true to your corporate culture, and employees can now view available desks and rooms when they arrive. Ian, what are the biggest opportunities for companies to save money on property costs? For me, the biggest opportunity is to look at your space utilization. Okay. Really, lots of companies are way oversized in terms of corporate real estate. Mm -hmm. If we look at the market, most of the time, 50% of space goes underutilized on any given day. I'm sure you've probably seen that in your own office, where you walk around and half the desks are underused. So by concentrating on space utilization and getting a grip of that, you're able to then say, hey, we don't need this much space and sublet some of that space to save you millions of dollars or even use that information to push back on your business units when they come asking for more space and you can say, no, you're not using your current space well enough. And Ian, could you please explain why right-sizing in the workplace is such a, why is it such a challenge? Well, right-sizing is difficult. So to do it a proper right sizing, you need to be a part data scientist to understand what you've currently got and how well it's used. You need to be part clairvoyant to think about what your business is going to be doing over the next 5, 10, 20 years as you sign those long leases. And you also need to be part master negotiator to be able to communicate with your lines of business and convince them to come along for the ride. And run your business. And run your business. <laughs> And the difficult part is that there's all of this data that you need to collect mm -hmm. and there hasn't been great tools to bring all of that together and make it easy for you. Right. 
Um, luckily, of course, we've solved that problem. And so you have those <laughs> gifts. <That's right. laughs> Ian, can you please talk about how companies can leverage big data and the Internet of Things to make better strategic property decisions? Oh, absolutely. There's so much technology available to us today, especially in the workplace. Mm -hmm. There's sensors, there's badge swipes, there's mobile phones and Bluetooth technology. Mm -hmm. There's even facial recognition software today that can help you keep track of how well your space is being used. Uh, we take all that information and make good use of it. And so how long does it take to implement a workplace management solution to get the data in place to drive the change? The good news is we've put a lot of effort into making sure that businesses can get value from our software really fast. Mm -hmm. So with a CeraView solution, you're up and running within two months. Unlike traditional IWMS software, which typically takes uh, two to three years to implement, and if then, CeraView's tools are designed to support portfolio teams in optimizing space with easy-to-use graphical visualizations, reliable data, and powerful analytics. These tools are highly valued by their customers and partners. AGL Energy is one of Australia's leading um, energy providers. So we generate energy and we provide energy to our customers through electricity, gas, and energy-related services. We chose to work with CeraView because CeraView enables us to offer a workplace that can really enable people to produce what they need to through innovating and through technology. And I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, from a people point of view, CeraView knows where people are in the building. It's very clever. It can connect with our phone system, it connects with our meeting room booking system and our other building systems. So you can tell where people are by looking at your laptop. Um, and from an office management point of view, we get a lot of good data from CeraView. We get monthly reports that shows office utilisation, so we can see what spaces are being really effectively used, which spaces are underutilised, and we can report that. We've got good successes reporting to general managers so that they can look at their future projections and growth, and we can use our space as efficiently as possible. My name is Ken Lynch. I work for Australia and New Zealand Bank. I'm Head of Workplace, which means I'm accountable for the physical working environment of ANZ employees across the 34 markets that we work in. We chose to work with CeraView eight years ago now. At the time, we had our space data in people's heads um, in a series of spreadsheets in physical formats, in various different formats. So after extensive market research, we chose CeraView as the company with the best product to help us transform our space management data. So CeraView's approach is unique because CeraView have the technical expertise to breathe life into our aspirations for managing our property portfolio. We seek to keep ahead of business requirements and CeraView are on the same page as us in that respect. Uh, for example, in 2011, we implemented flexible working or activity-based working in our portfolio. Now, even in a flexible working or activity-based working model, the allocation of das desks is not static. Uh, so business units uh, change all the time, there are restructures, people come and go, etc. So how do you maintain that in a flexible working model? We worked with CeraView to develop a tool called the Workplace Portal, which integrates data from our security turnstiles with our HR PeopleSoft data, with our space management system. This allows us to see dynamically how use of space changes in the building, and then go back to business units and help uh, consolidate and align space to improve productive business outcomes. Ian, I'm curious, what's the biggest mistake you see that companies make when transitioning to an agile work environment? Yeah, so agile working is where you've got unassigned seating, so people come in every day mm -hmm. and they choose their own seat uh, rather than having an assigned seat to sit at. Um, the problem most companies face in moving people to that direction is they don't put in a cultural change program. There's no mm. change management. So people come they into work. just walk in no, and it's... Exactly. Yeah. And go for all. And people get frustrated by that. It's like a 180 degree change for most people mm. to come in and change to an agile working. So right. the biggest tip I've got is support your staff as they move and transition to agile working with education, with programs, with technology. Mm and you can get some great results. Oh, that, that's wonderful, because even when change is positive, so often there's so much resistance to it. So it's wonderful that you that's right. provide yeah. them with those tools. That's right. And Ian, could you please share, how is a younger workforce driving the need for mobile technology in the workplace? Yeah, sure. 
the, the young workforce has really grown up with mobile phones, digital equipment, um, right in their hands from day one. So they're coming into the workforce today saying, hey, we need technology to support us at work. Mm -hmm. And we're used to being mobile. Right. We don't want to sit at one desk all day long in a dark cubicle. We want to get out there and communicate with our colleagues, be in open environments and places that we want to work. So I think it's important that companies take consideration of that as they're designing their workplace of the future. Sure. And so how does an organization make the transition from a legacy environment to a modern workplace? Sure. Uh, there are five key things I think about. In fact, five Ds, I like to call it. Okay. So the first one is, is data. So get a good grip of your current space and how well it's being used. The next thing is to discuss. It's really important to discuss your workplace with your lines of business and how they want to see it being used. Then you go into a design phase to design what the space could look like and your change management program. Mm -hmm. Then you uh, develop that space and finally deploy it. Cushman and Wakefield provide property services looking after both the landlord and the occupier. From my side of the business, we focus on the occupier and primarily around how property enables better business performance. From a productivity perspective, we look at how does the space operate in an efficient and an effective way. Productivity tools for us, for example, in the building we're occupying now, which is 650,000 square feet, we know that we have 131% utilisation and a 98% staff satisfaction. It's been really important for GE to understand who we are as a digital industrial company. Our strength is in building infrastructure. We build some of the world's most critical infrastructure, whether it's turbines for power plants or it's engines for jets. This is some of the critical infrastructure that moves the world. When we get into current and we think about digitizing spaces, our goal is the infrastructure of intelligent lighting and how that can connect information. Partnering with someone like CeraView takes that to a whole new level of helping people work better in their buildings and in their spaces. From the current side, we bring in energy management and optimization, how we can use the sensors and intelligent lighting to reduce the energy cost that you're saving so that you can pay for the infrastructure. From CeraView's point of view, they look at how building utilization, some of the buildings are over 50% underutilized, and if they can understand how people are moving out, they can change a company's cost portfolio right there. So both of those help save costs, and the benefit is not only do you save the cost to put the infrastructure in, but you now have a platform to grow top line revenue, whether it's employee productivity and how people are using spaces and being creative, or in other spaces with other partners, that same infrastructure helps in retail cases. So you help both the bottom line right away to save hard costs and then find the way to make your business run better. Ian, as we come to a close, can you please explain what does an organization need to do to get started with CeraView? Sure, it's real simple to get started, Kathy. Um, all you need to do is give us a call. Mm -hmm. We'd be happy to discuss some of the challenges you're facing and how you can quickly get started with CeraView. Well, Ian, CeraView's workplace management software truly does sound like a game-changing option for companies looking to save money while modernizing their workplace. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so us. much, Kathy. Continued success. Cheers. For Worldwide Business, I'm Kathy Ireland. Thank you for watching.